You think you're the only one that's bored around here? So guess what's next? Instructions for the effective burning of shitters. What up guys, Soak Disco here and today I'm giving you the video that was a long time coming. I'm gonna explain exactly why players are jumping ship, the biggest problems in the game, and how to fix them. So like and subscribe guys, I'm gonna try to earn that subscription today and it really helps out a lot. So let's get right into this. The players have spoken and I'm gonna try to articulate exactly all these reasons that this game is a dumpster fire in its current state and hopefully we can try to address these issues and how to fix them for the sake of the game. Firstly, we all know the game is old, but it does have a great overall feel to it. At the surface level, that's what gets you hooked. You got the cover base mechanic, third person shooter camera angle, weapon choices and sounds, and so on and so forth. This was the initial draw of the division to begin with, is it was something different. It was something different and that's gonna come into play as we discuss why it's not enough these days. The reason boils down to a few very simple but understandable reasons. This is a live service game. Now the live service game model came to prevalence in the last uh, five or six years or whatnot. It basically revolves around a fresh idea that players like and then sustaining that idea or at least uh, justifying the fact that you need to be online via subscription to play these games by offering players new and exciting challenges, places to see, to capitalize on what got them hooked initially. So when it comes to the grind, this is a crucial factor. All players are prepared for the grind in a ton of different games. What makes the grind worthwhile is with new stuff added to the game that makes the grind actually mean something. In this case, we have a grind for no actual purpose, and that's where players are upset. Not to mention the bugs, the, uh, the, the constant updates, the massive server downloads, the, the you know X, Y, and Z, you name it. At the end of the day, if you can't capitalize on what made your game popular to begin with, you are going to lose players. This is why games like The Descendant, uh, Red Dead, whatever the case may be, other game studios don't need to match the mechanic of The Division. All they need to do is offer players something new. And this is where the development team at The Division made a drastic mistake. Instead of offering for the past couple of years new realistic content for players to see what their grind achieved, we have been offered the same repetitive content that amounts to stirring feces in a bucket with diesel fuel. Then when it comes time for another update and we're all expecting something new, the main devs come up and basically tell us to do the exact same thing over and over. So when it comes to the division, you have a game that players loved but simply got tired of fast because of two primary reasons. It didn't live up to the division one by many standards, but two, the veteran community. And when I say veteran, that's a tricky thing because you have to understand this game does not have a huge influx of new players. That's just the reality. You have the recent update, which allowed players that were at level 30 to come to level 40, but that's not necessarily an influx of players. That's a new uh, group of people that come into the level 40 world from level 30, but this doesn't really affect the concurrent uh, number of players playing the game. Let's talk about the problems. The problems the division has is that it failed to introduce actual content to the game. And what I mean by content is stuff that could appease both new and old players. One thing I constantly see in my comments is that players are willing to fork out money for DLC, downloadable content, new missions, a place to use our newfound power and our expertise gear in new and exciting environments, not simply to recycle gear throw away old maximized gear to simply play the old content. This is no bueno. This is the devs telling us to do the same shit over and over. Or in other words, stick that back in there. 
this is where we're at guys. We're being asked to recycle the same content without any new challenges by simply reverting to a character that has nothing built up, the seasonal character. Now, if this was something that came in the early days of the game, it wouldn't be so bad, but we're five years into this game and the devs keep hitting us with the same exact modus operandi. It's to give us the same recycled content over and over, and when they fail to deliver for a content that actually meets the challenge that we've been expected to build up through things like expertise, we are then stripped of such things and told, hey, for 15 out of uh, 17 weeks, play this with a nerf character so therefore you can experience some kind of challenge. The hypocrisy on something like this is astounding. It's really bad and I'm hoping that this video really encompassed what the problem in the game is because I have uh, people telling me that oh the seasonal characters might be a good thing. Well yeah, so would uh, replacing Wonder Woman with Roseanne Barr in the MCU. These are just things that uh, they might be great but many of us can really see through the BS and what we see is you fail to deliver on content, you constantly give us new bugs, we go through these ridiculous extended maintenance times, and all for what? This is why other games are going to suffocate The Division 2, because the developers had a fantastic concept, but failed to capitalize on what they had going. Had they just offered map packs, and by map packs I mean new missions that you can download, so many people would have paid 20 or even 30 bucks for three or four new missions and they would have done it a couple of times per year. The devs, however, decided to say, we'll give you the same content and introduce bundles where you can get a new weapon skin and a new pair of goddamn tennis shoes. This is not gonna cut it. I don't think they have the influx of new players and personally, I don't blame the people. I blame the people on top of those people because they're only doing what they can do with what they were given. But at the end of the day, this game will die and it will lose out to games that don't offer a portion of what the division offers simply because it's new. You have the uh, the, the first descendant and people are like, it's paid, to, it's, there's a lot of uh, microtransactions. A player like me doesn't care because I'm not buying them. I just wanna see new visuals. I wanna just go to new places and new games can cut the throat of The Division 2 by simply offering something different. So you have a third person shooter, which thereby, by definition, already snatches one of the basic and core elements of Division 2 by saying, we're gonna give you that camera angle, right? These are things, we're, not only are we gonna give you the camera angle, but we're gonna give you the camera angle in new and exciting places. If The Division would have done this, The Division would be on top of the mountain right now but they chose to screw the player base off and what we get are weapon skins and a bunch of loot we don't need and no content to apply this loot in. That's the fatal crux of it, not to mention the bugs that come along with every time they try to update this game. So anyways, guys, that's my video. Like, subscribe, share this video. I hopefully, uh, I, I deliver this in a way that's speaking for the community because I'm not even into the new apparel of it. I am in no hurry to do this. I don't care if I get it, if I don't get it. This game is not af oh. This game is not offering me anything. When I load up at the White House, I instantly do a face palm and I have to ask myself some serious questions like why am I not playing a different game? There's nothing to do in the game. It gets very small very fast. Anyways, guys, that's the video. I'm out of here. Soak disco. Like, subscribe. And uh, let me know what you want to see in the next video, and I'll try to uh, accommodate you guys. Take it easy. Enjoy your gaming on whatever game you play. I'll cover this game, but um, it's getting really hard at this point because um, the, uh, the excitement is just not there. After five years, I'm tired of playing the same stuff. So anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.